Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer, trying to create a circular pattern such as this. It looks simple enough, there is a repeating segment of a curve with a couple of strokes attached to it, something that can be done in the appearance. I can have one shape and a couple of strokes, each one getting a little bit bigger than the one prior. I duplicate that shape and then the problem starts. As soon as I overlap, the last segment will cover up the segments below. The easiest solution is using the transparent gradient and just hiding the parts that are overlapping, turning them transparent so that the element below shines through. Still not quite happy with that solution. Um, it just feels like a quick hack. The other problem is the way the multiple strokes work on a stroke rather than a curve. I can never get all the outlines to curve properly. So if I have just a line with the stroke and several additional strokes on it. Two or three will curve at the end, but not all of them. The only working solution I could find was turning the line into a curve by expanding the stroke so that I get a shape that has volume and then I assign the pattern to it. That way the ends will curve properly. The second shape we need is the clipping mask. It will contain the parts we want to see and cover those we don't need to see because they are overlapping. Let's get started with a circle. I duplicate that one and create a smaller version, add a stroke to that one. This will be the base for the clip mask as well as the segment we're going to add the multiple outlines to. By selecting the circle as well as the segment and rotating it, I can create the shape that will be our clip mask. By brightening the color of the stroke, you can now see the segments when it overlaps. In the transform panel, you can set the rotation. We want six shapes, so each shape rotates by 60 degrees. And we want to keep a copy of the segment before we expand the bigger shapes and create the mask by using the boolean subtract. I'm going to cut the lighter version from the red segment. I expand the stroke on both of them and use the subtract. I move the white segment into the red one to create the clip mask and copy the design with the multiple outlines from an existing shape onto this one. And you can see that the end is not quite matching. So I expand the white stroke to a curve and copy the effect onto that one and we have the multiple outlines. Let's have a closer look at this in the appearance panel. There's a couple of strokes already assigned, alternating between white and red. What I do now is place the strokes behind the object that's setting the order and setting the width to match the size of the design. Starting new, you would add the stroke with the add stroke in the lower left of the appearance panel and then add a stroke after a stroke, always increasing the width and changing the colors alternating from the two or if you use more colors, alternating the colors as you go. It might take a little bit of fiddling to get the width right. As you can see, I need to change my widths to get the widths of the stroke matching the initial shape as well as ending up with roughly the final size of the design. You can also tweak the base shape by using the contour tool and making it wider or in this case a little narrower. I then take the clip mask and turn it into a symbol that way it's easier to make changes afterwards. Combining the symbol with the circle and rotating the two of them together, again by 60 degrees, I can now easily create the pattern we're after. The result looks nearly identical to the transparent gradient we had earlier, but this solution just feels that little bit cleaner working with the clip mask and having the content inside. It's easy to change the design now, seeing we're working with symbols. All we need to do is change one symbol and all six will be adjusted accordingly. Changing the stroke colors or adding additional elements. In this case, I'm adding a transparent gradient to fade the ends. For an interesting effect, a real easy seeing it's all based on the one symbol. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you learned something new today, hit the like button to celebrate your new bit of knowledge. To help you remember everything you've learned even better, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel or on my website in the comments below. And I hope to see you again soon.